Yo, what up, my shadow army? It is I, Shadow Critias, back again with a, another Dragon Ball video. Uh, I just want to do a little bit like a less talk video about this character, about one character in general, which is Future Trunks. The reason why I want to talk about him as a how great character that he is for all the Dragon Ball fandom, because a lot of people. Considering to be one of the most fan based favorite character in the entire Dragon Ball history, because how well written development of him, how he's gone through from the Future Trunks special episode and his first debut in Dragon Ball Z and him returning in Dragon Ball Super for the Goku Black arc. And it's just. Future Trunks has one of the most dark. Uh, dark, uh, tragic, and hope story, and it's just, you just feel bad for him, and you could tell what he's going through, all that trauma, all the PTSD that he's going through, like, he didn't even get to know what is, get to know, get to know his, uh, father, or anyone that he knows. It's just, it's just sad. And the only two people that he knows since the android appeared was his mother and his mentor, who he looks up to as a father and a brother figure, which is Gohan. And witnessing his death, and that's how Tr Future Trunk unleashed to Super Saiyan, his first Super Saiyan. And then he's the, the last survivor, the last fighter. Then, and also a last hope for the future. And it's just... And also, what is much more sad is when he goes to the past and meet all the people that he never got the chance to meet in his timeline because they were all dead. And this is his first time meeting his mentor at such a young age. It's, again, it's just sad. Like, you're going back to the past and see the people that you never got the chance to meet all the people you never get a chance to get to know. It's just sad. It really is fucking sad. And I'm surprised Trung's able to take all this in. And try to focus it on the task is to save the past. From the big threat from the androids and Cell. And, and not only that. I actually got done watching this gameplay cutscenes. Of Dragon Ball Kakarot, there was like a story mode where Future Trunks, Kabito Kai, and Supreme Kai are all trying to stop Bobbity to revive Majin Buu. Like it was mentioned in Dragon Ball Super, and they actually managed to show it in a game, which I was, I I was appreciated. I was actually loved it because I want to see how this effect. I want to see the story itself, and it did because it was actually emotional and also heartwarming because Tr Future Trunks looks up uh, Supreme Kai like a, a really good friend and like a brother kinda and also Kabito Kai is kinda like the father figure for Trunks because he doesn't have anyone that he can look up to as a father figure and he looks at Kabito Kai as a father and of course one thing that actually hit me in the fucking heart that Go, uh, Future Trunks has a little bit of flashback with him and Trunks had that camp night and Future Trunks and uh, Future Gohan said like like um if there is anyone is gonna bring peace it's you you are our last hope and that's triggered Future Trunks and made him turn Super Saiyan 2 literally that triggers him and because he's not wrong. Future Trunks is the last hope. to For the future. And he actually. Both both him. Kabito and Supreme Kai. Actually defeat. Actually defeat. Uh, Deborah. Kabito. Uh, not Kabito. Uh, um, Bobbity. Before the Majibu has been. You know. Arrived. Uh, so pretty much Majibu has been destroyed. Before he's been arrived. So, but it comes with a cause that both Kabito and Supreme Kai died. And on that, it's not just them either. 
we just got to see how Future Trunks has been trained by both of the Kai's how to use, uh, how to use, um, uh, uh, the Z Sword and how to use the Ultimate Form. So it's actually stated that he has trained how to use the Ultimate Form, but never, never used it. So, and all of that, you know when you have the Z Sword? The Z Sword is actually the Elder Kai because Elder Kai lives part of that sword. That means we actually got to see, um, hold on, I thought. Uh, sorry about that, but like I was saying, like, not only that, when we actually got to see the Z Sword been destroyed, that means that the Elder Kai is also dead. That means that Trunks never met the the Elder Kai. So that means three different types of Kai died. That means Beerus is dead. Because we all know if a Supreme Kai died, the God of Destruction died. If a God of Destruction died, the Supreme Kai dies. And... And go on... I mean, not go on. Future Trunks... Well, I want to say that for last. Um... And all that, we got to see Gohan breaking, not Gohan, Future Trunks broken down tier in the end of the video. We actually get to see the glimpse of both Future Gohan along with uh, Kibito and Supreme Kai by both, all three of them smiling at Trunks because he did it. Future, Future Trunks actually saved the world, but it comes with a cost of a loss of the people that he just making friends. And it's just holy hell. And now the world was at peace, and Future Trunk just you just looking at the city. Everyone was being peaceful, and Trunk is just you know looks at the city and just flies off. And it's just it's just depressed. Like god damn. Like Trunks keep losing people that he started to know. Like for and also when we get to the Goku Black Heart, which is one of my favorite arc in the entire Dragon Ball Super and I mean Dragon Ball history and I understand why people say oh the beginning was dark the middle was uh was um no some people say the middle one was epic and the ending was rushed I completely understand why but I love the ending I love the ending it, it got it made me tear up it made me tear up because we saw future Gohan and the music played it got me emotional. I literally fucking cried. I never cried on anything that involved Dragon Ball. And that scene made me fucking cry like a bitch. And I just couldn't. And then when we found out more that, oh, Boma is dead by the hands of Goku Black. And Mai gets killed. We thought Future Mai was dead, but no, she was alive. And then where Future Trunks kills Merge Zamasu, Infinite Zamasu... Just wipe out the entire, the last survivor of the human race. That all been were hidden and hiding. And the only thing who survived was, well, uh, Goku, Vegeta, Trunks, Mai, Boma, and Kaio, and Supreme Kai, and Gowasu. They were the last survivor, and everyone else are dead except them. And it's just, Trunks gone through shit. He lost everyone that he knows and none of that he failed to protect his future and he failed to protect his future he saved his future timeline twice from his from defeating the android defeating cell actually defeated uh the destroyer the, the rival the uh, reveal of majin Bu, defeated both Bobby and deborah actually defeated both zamasu and goku blank Apparently, they came back as Infinite Zamasu and killed the entire rest of the mortals that survived. So, Future Trunks failed to save his future. And Zeno erased his timeline. Trunks has gone through worse, gone through shit than pretty much any types of characters. He's been through so much. He's been through hell. He has a lot of trauma. He has... PTSD, and he's still able to fight for the, his future, and even not even just the future, but the entire multiverse. Like, god damn, dude, this kid has a strong heart, and 
it's just crazy. And a lot of people are questioning about this idea that Future Trunks and Future Mind are going back the timeline where there is two versions of themselves. Since Whis and Beers did destroy Goku Black and Zamasu before they before Goku Black showed himself in Earth. That means that this trunk that we all know with Future Mai, they're gonna live a life of the people they know who has no memory of them. Not only that, they will have to live a life of their other self who has no memory of each other because future trunks because the other future trunks will never interact with future Mai because this future Mai never interacted the other trunks. They never interacted before. And it would just be weird and awkward and uncomfortable. Not only that, it would be heartbreaking, trauma, etc. So what's the point going back to your timeline if everyone that you know who have the same face but don't have the memory and the people you used to interact doesn't in, doesn't interact with you because you're going back to the, the original timeline, your timeline before all the events happen. And I have seen a Moscow X video about what if Future Trunks and Mai stay in the past. And it, he didn't start this scenario. It was the other two Dragon Ball YouTubers. I don't know who. they the one who started this scenario. And everyone else started doing it. Including, again, Moscow X. Like you, like you said, you can make your own... You actually can use the same title of that scenario... But your story of that scenario has to be completely different to the other people's story they have. Like, for example, if you have your own story idea about what if Raditz turned good, then go for it. So, I... It's just... In the mind, this mind came to my head like, you know what? I want to do my version of what if Future Trunks and... But anyway, like I was saying, um, like, I just want to do my own idea about how would this affect the story if both Future Trunks and my stay in the past. How would it affect the timeline in general? And if you guys want me to do that scenario, let me know because back then, back in 2019, I used to do Dragon Ball What Ifs. But I lost interest in of it because I wasn't that good of it at all. But if you guys want me to do Dragon Ball What Ifs, let me know. Because I have been thinking about doing something, but I don't have any ideas of which what is scenario of Dragon Ball that I want to do. If Again, if you guys want me to do that scenario about what if Future Trunks and Future Mai stay in the past, let me know. But honestly... I just want to say that I think Future Trunks should stay in the past. Same goes for Future Mai because all the things they've been through, they need to stay in the past and start to have a happy life because they never had that life. They had to risk their life for over a year against Goku Black. For the androids, it was several years. Literally, it was several fucking years. But that didn't last long. I mean, the year against Goku Black is not compared to how long the Android go on a fucking rampage. So pretty much, living a, a too apocalyptic world by the Androids and Goku Black, yeah, I just don't see the point of them going back to the future. What's up? I just don't see the point of it. They should stay in the past because they need it. They need a happier life. They've been through so much shit. They've been through so much pain. They need to have a normal life. They need a happier life. They need to stay in the past. Yeah, it would be weird and awkward to live in the past with their younger self. I get that. But still, y'all deserve it. And if you guys watch Moscow X, uh, scenario six parts of his scenario about it, like how Future Trunks and Mai deal with this situation about staying in the past with Goku's stu- Goku's up, you know, start of the tournament of power, and 
and also the ending part, which I'm not going to enter spoilers or anything like that. I, I just feel like they should stay in the past. That's pretty much how I see it. But it's, it will be interesting. It will be interesting about how it would affect the timeline if they just stay in the past. How would that affect? Like, Future Trunks is built as a warrior to bring hope. My, on the hand, is like just a, a soldier. A warrior soldier, actually. But still, they don't deserve to fight anymore. They deserve to live their life peace. It's so unfair that the Z fighter that we all know having their peace while Future Trunks and Mai risk their life over a year against Goku Black while Future Trunks deal with Bobbity and Deborah and him deal with the androids and Cell ever since he was young. Like, they deserve a fucking peace, for God's sake. So, yeah. But I honestly have nothing to say. I just want to give my thoughts about how I feel about Trunks, etc. He is an amazing character. And also, he has one of the interesting, tragic, dark, and hope development as a character. And yet... I just feel bad for him. Like, he doesn't deserve this pain and suffering and deal with this kind of bullshit on his own. Like, and I, I'm not the only one who shit Future Trunks and Mai because out there where they've gone through, they deserve to be together and have a normal life. Because they both been through shit. They needed it. For real. But, anyway, guys... Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Tell me what you guys think. And tell me what your thoughts and your feelings about uh, Future Trunks as a character. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Links to my social media, my Discord server, my GoFundMe page will all be down below in the description box. You guys know what you're about all that shenanigans. Again, like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Kneel before Shadow Critias. I'll see you guys later.